Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. Now in today's video, I have the JBL LinkView. And what makes this speaker a little bit more unique than some of the videos I've been doing is that this supports the Google's Home Assistant. And what that's gonna allow you to do is give it voice commands and not only be able to see it on the screen, but also to see what you're saying. So I'm very interested to get into all the details of this, including showing you how to set it up, as well as all the specs on it. And I'm also going to give you some audio examples. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. Before I get started, I just want to give you guys a few disclaimers. First of all, I did a couple of videos on the Google's home products and people were asking me questions like, how come it didn't have a certain feature or option? The reality of it is, is that Google devices support certain areas, certain countries, certain devices. So today I'm located in San Diego, California. I'm using a Galaxy S9 and I have the most modern Wi-Fi out there. So with that being said, let's get started. What comes in the box is very simple. You get an instruction book as well as a power cable. On front of the speaker, you get an eight inch screen that has a resolution of 1200 by 800. When it comes to the current Google Home Display setups, this one probably has the best sound. It has two two inch woofers powered by two 10 watt amplifiers. On the front of the display, you're gonna find two near-field microphones and also a five megapixel camera. Another thing about this camera is that it has a privacy switch. So when you wanna turn it off, just flip it over just like that. On the back of the smart display, you have your volume up and down as well as a microphone mute button if you don't want it to hear you. There's also a passive radius that takes the built-in speakers and give it more bass punch. On the bottom of it, you're gonna find a full-size plug input as well as a USB for doing service on it. Another thing about the speaker, if it locks up on you or if you're gonna sell it to someone, you can press the plus and minus for about 20 to 30 seconds and then it's gonna do a factory reset. But it'll give you a display to let you know what it's doing. Now let me show you how to connect it to your device. When you first turn on the JBL Link View, you need to go to the App Store of your Android device or your Apple device and download the Google's Home app. And then go ahead and open up the application to get started. Now, since I already set up my Google's Home app, I can go and press on it and open it up. Then you can press add for a new device, set up a new device, set up a new device at my home. And at the bottom of the speaker, it has the name of it right there, just in case you can't find it. And it also popped up on the phone right here. Next hit yes, if it's the correct device. And then you can have a number that pops up right here as long as the number matches, it's the correct device, go ahead and hit yes. If you want to help improve Google's assistance, go ahead and hit yes. And now you're going to give it a name where you have it located. I'm going to press office, but you can also add a custom room title right there at the bottom. Then hit next. If you don't have a Wi-Fi set up from a previous model, you'll be able to go ahead and click on it and log in. But this should do it automatically. Now the unit is getting the Wi-Fi from your phone so it can get ready for the next steps. And also it says office at the bottom, so it changed the name of it. After you read through all the privacy rules here, go ahead and hit next. And here's where you can do voice match. The voice match is so it can recognize your voice over someone else's. Now if you set it up before, you can go and use your previous uh, results, which I'm going to do now. On this setting, you can choose how your voice sounds when it talks back to you. Once you choose the one you like, hit next. Welcome to your new smart display. Let me show you how it works. This is the home screen where you'll find notifications, reminders, and important information and learn more about what your Google Assistant can do for you. So there's a little tutorial, I'll fast forward through it, but here's all the different music players that you can use. And if you look at the little check boxes, these are the different ones that's logged into right now. Once you get that done, press next. This is where you can add some TV services if you already have your accounts. You can video call people who has Google's Duo and you can invite them to that so they can call you from your display. All you need to do is put your number on here as well to verify it. And once it sends you the code, you can start doing your voice commands as well. If you have Google's Photos, you also can link this device to show all your pictures right there on the display. You have an art gallery. 
as well as a full clock, which we're going to use today. Hit next. And here's the different clocks that you can use. Once you choose a clock, go ahead and next. If you want to receive emails and updates, you can sign up here or hit no thanks. This gives you a summary of what you have connected. And you also can put a credit card in here if you want to order food, call for rides for Uber and other things. Now, if you look at the display, I already changed for what I set it up for and it's almost ready to go. So I can show you some more examples. That's pretty much everything you need to set up. And under the home, you can see you can broadcast your voice as well as play music. You can also talk to other Google devices that are hooked up to your house. You can do a voice command directly. And you can also send movies over to your Chromecast device if you have it set up. With all the basics set up and ready to go, you can now go to the application if you like to add more features, such as if you own a Nest system as well as any type of lighting that runs off of Google's home. But next, let me show you how the screen works with some of the gestures. So this is your main display whenever you give it a command and you're not using a clock. If you notice, you have the weather here, but you can slide over here and it's all kind of different events that you can do. Now, if you slide this direction, it goes back to the clock, but if you tap it, it goes back to this screen. Now on the bottom, if you slide your finger up, you have your brightness for your lighting system on it. As well, if you tap it again, it goes to automatic where it actually dims itself according to light in the room. You have your speaker volume. You also have a do not disturb button. If you tap on that, it'll show you the Wi-Fi you connected to about this device and you can do a factory reset there as well. Now from the top, if you slide your finger down, you can control lights, media, broadcast, thermostats if you have a device connected throughout your house with all these different features. I'm sure as time go on, the camera will be used for other features, but let's try to do a selfie. Do a selfie. I can't take photos yet. So there you have it. Now that I showed you some of the gestures that you can do with the screen, let's listen to some music, then I'll show you how to use some of the voice commands. Turn on Bluetooth. All right, looking for paired devices. And then we get a pop-up on your phone. Go ahead and hit pair. Wow, this speaker sounds fantastic. JBL is known to have good speakers and with the highs up front, I can hear every instrument and with the bass response, the passive radius really does well, especially if you put it closer to the wall. Now that you had a chance to listen to it, let me do some voice commands for you. What movies are playing in Times Square, New York City? Some popular movies showing around New York include The Grinch, Bohemian Rhapsody, and The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. What's the cheapest flight from San Diego to New York? Upcoming round trip flights from San Diego to New York City start at $255. Did you have any dates in mind? No. How do you say hello, how are you, and Portuguese? Olá, como vai você? Show me photos of Lamborghinis. These pictures should match. Set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, starting now. Good morning. Hi, you found the new good morning routine. Let's try it together. First, let's see what your day looks like. Currently in San Diego, it's 75 and clear. Today, it'll be clear with clouds from time to time with a forecasted high of 82 and a low of 53. Next, I'll play the news. And just so you know, you can customize this routine. 
I can also turn on lights, start coffee, play music, play a podcast, and more. To customize your good morning routine, check out routine settings in the Google Home app. Have a great day. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Now there's a lot more features that the speaker will do and I didn't show you the camera and some of the other features that make it control your home. But what I would like for you guys to do is leave a comment below and I'll make a follow-up video showing more of those features. And if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.